We all know that billionaires have lots of money and sometimes they spend that money on odd things. $44 billion deal to buy Twitter. But when they pass away and leave this earth, who gets all their money? Their dollar, their wonga. 12 million pounds was left to a dog. Well, as formerly the world's richest man. I might frame this though. And the doer of silly things. We are silly billies. We are silly billies. I wanted to find out by getting into a billionaire's will. I got pen. This is the story of how I managed to infiltrate the world of billionaires. He doesn't know I'm doing this. And actually convinced one of them to leave me something behind. Hello? The issue is, I still don't know what I'll be getting. Am I not going to find out what I get until he dies? Billionaires. When they die, what do they do with all that money? I want to find out because I want to be in a billionaire's will because funny in it. People get left weird things in wills all the time. I found this website with some of the more crackers things that people have been left. 12 million pounds was left to a dog. Someone was left a new husband. Shakespeare left behind Anne Hathaway. Not that one. His second best bed. This is a good one. Someone in their will was left a subscription to Headspace, the meditation app that helps users build long-lasting healthy habits. And I'll be telling you more about Headspace later on in the vid. But anyway, if a dog can be left $12 million, I can at least be left a pair of socks. Either way, I want to get in a will, I need to find a billionaire, how am I going to do this? Now normally in these videos, this is the part where I would dive deep into a research hole and contact the right people with some tippy tapping. But rich people are very private individuals, and so emailing them wouldn't really work. I needed to get on the inside. I've had an idea, well something's actually fallen into my lap that might help. A couple of years ago when I was a young wee influencer, I did some work with a finance company where I went around the world and I paid for everything with just my mobile. I'm in the Lithuanian countryside. And the organiser of that trip, who's big in the finance world, he reached out to me regularly asking whether I want to get involved with any of the events they do. Now, I really, really do want to get involved with one of the events. He's asked whether I want to give out an award at a finance schmoozy awards dude that's coming up. I'd love to give out an award, but what I'm not gonna tell him, I'm gonna use my time on stage as an elevator pitch to pitch to the various, presumably very wealthy people in the audience. I need to suit up. Now in my line of work as a YouTuber, I don't get to wear a suit very often. But if I was gonna be rubbing shoulders with the richest of the rich, I would have to look the part. Approaching the venue, dressed up, suit and tie. Got my notes in there, my speech. Includes a bit they don't know that I'm doing. After a warm greeting, Hello, I'm the, uh, the FinTech Awards, yeah. 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 Thank you. I was in, and I started to realise the scale of these awards. <laughs> people. This wasn't some small time thing. I was about to go up in front of quite a lot of people. I'm not massively sure who I'm meant to be meeting. Not really knowing where to go for my awards giving, I thought instead I would do some schmoozing. Hello, nice to meet you. Hello, nice to meet you. Hello, how are you? How are you? How are you? And it seems my prior naughtiness had people on high alert. <laughs> Officially? Yeah, officially. Okay. officially, yeah. Why? Did you not think I would be doing Well, yeah, not really a style, is it? <laughs> I might have something on my sleeve. Now, this venue was stuffed full with the cream of the crop of the world's finance industry. Catherine Ryan was hosting, and when I went up on stage to present my award category, I would get the opportunity to speak to all of them uninterrupted. And there were certainly a few billionaire-looking types chowing down on their free bruschetta. So hopefully with a bit of charm, I'd be able to convince at least one of them to stick old Maxi in the will. And to present this award, we please welcome to the stage a very, very special guest, the one-time richest man in the world, Max Bosch. The crowd went mild for my big moment. Hello, everyone. I think everyone over the age of 30 is incredibly disappointed right now. Yes, my name is Max Bosch. I'm a YouTuber. I technically became the world's richest man for seven minutes. After a quick hello and five minutes of my best material, I thought it was a bit of fun. The FCA thought uh, it was a bit of fraud. Um, I thought I'd shoot my shot. Just before I read out the nominees, Ali doesn't know I'm doing this, but I thought I've got an opportunity like you, lovely folk in front of me, I thought I'd ask the question. I am trying desperately to get into the will of a billionaire. What I'm asking for is completely arbitrary, it can be a pair of socks, but if you know any billionaires, or probably if you are any billionaires, please get in contact. Please remember, always look at the terms and conditions. So, without further ado, here are the nominees for Best Mobile Pink. There you have it. I've made my case in front of some of the richest and most well-connected people in London in the hope 
that somebody, somewhere, in this vast room would be able to connect me with a billionaire who was, frankly, up for a bit of a laugh. Weeks passed and I found myself distracted with making some other videos. When suddenly, one day in the office, I received a call from an unexpected number and on the other end of the phone was someone called an executive assistant. It seems that word had gotten out about my shout out at the awards, and one billionaire in particular found it quite charming. He's also heard about it. He's really keen on the idea. Okay, fantastic. I'd love to come in and, and see him if that's possible. What I'll do is I will send you over a list of possible dates, and then we'll, we'll go from there. Amazing. Great. Well, we'll be in touch. Great. Um, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Okay, okay, I think this is working, this is working. I've got 10 minutes with this billionaire in six weeks time, but a lot can change. Schedules can change, I'm not getting my hopes up just yet. But it might be happening. Six weeks later, I was barreling down the motorway, finally on the way to meet my billionaire. I've got to drive a number of hours to go to this billionaire's offices. I've got the documents with me. I'm being signed into the will, but I, I won't know what I'm getting for quite a while. But either way, an hour away from our billionaire. My meeting with my billionaire is not for another 15 to 20 minutes, which actually gives me a good amount of time to quickly meditate. I find that my car is a, a bit of a safe space from when I'm doing mad and crazy things and Headspace really, really helps me. Headspace is a meditation app that helps uh, reduce stress, uh, helps with your focus and improves your sleep. Because with the videos I make, I'm always running around the place doing the, the silliest of things. Headspace allows me and helps me to feel a bit grounded and to take time to check in on myself. I am a big, big fan, even if I've got like three minutes to do their breathe section of the app, which is one to three minutes. I can play in the car. Get Headspace here with this QR code. There's also a code in the description. So start meditating now. It's super easy and actually really, really helpful. So thank you very much Headspace for sponsoring the vid. Now let's do something silly. All right. Billionaire hunting time. I'd arrived at the offices with no other info other than a place to meet and a time. And we're told to be meeting his PA in 10 minutes. I don't really know what the etiquette is here. You can go up to the reception. Hello, I'm here to get in a will. <laughs> Who we are. Hello! Nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. How, How are you doing? You all right? We're going to take you over to HQ now, where the road, but then he's going to come over. Okay, so great. The, the building I had arrived in was just for guests to sign in. This place was absolutely vast, and I was shown around the campus that employs hundreds of people. All we survey. <laughs> His own. This guy was the real deal. My billionaire's team led me through a labyrinth of buildings, offices, until we made it to where my dreams would either be made or broken. The CEO's boardroom. Will he be in shortly? Yeah, we'll drop him a message. We'll get him over. I'd only have a matter of minutes with him once he arrived. So to make sure that the I's were dotted and the T's were crossed, I'd hired an inheritance lawyer to ensure everything went smoothly. Quite a big table. Is that usual for negotiations? Sometimes. You know what they say, the bigger the table. <laughs> the, 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 yeah. You have a seat over here. As an important man, our CEO was delayed in another meeting, so lawyer Bob and I had some time to kill. I got pen. Christmas, isn't it? Yeah. Our billionaire was taking his time. Just one big present. Yeah. It would take time to yourself to kind of meditate and ground yourself. Yeah. yeah me too. Use, use headspace. It's good. Use the code Max. Fosh. After a rather awkward wake with Robert, our billionaire finally arrived. But there was a problem. Hello. Our billionaire was 31. Good to meet you. Ben. ben Francis, founder and CEO of sportswear brand Gymshark, with a net worth of $1.3 billion. He'd heard about my rather bonkers idea from his team and unbelievably wanted to get involved. Should we see? Yeah, let's do it. So ben! 
Max. Being, being, being the will. As I was getting into this man's will, I did have a few questions. Okay. Um, just quick questions. Um, do you have any underlying health conditions? Not that I'm aware of. No. Fit and healthy guy. I feel like it, yeah. How often do you go to the gym? Uh, most days. Yeah. This is it's a slight problem because you're probably going to outlive me. But I come too far to give up now, and I wanted that signature. Uh, anyway, um, I've got with me just an addendum uh, to the will. Um, mm -hmm. Now, obviously, you um, haven't told me um, what I'm going to be receiving uh -huh. in your will. Um, you just want to keep it keep it secret. From I me? think I think it'll be a nice surprise. Yeah, yeah a nice surprise for you. Just get the tape. Um, I know you're a busy man. I don't want to take any more time. You just have a read of that. Um, and there is a, uh, a space uh, in which you can um, just sign your name just down there. This is obviously just you just stating that you're happy for me to be in your will for um, what you have decided. Uh, again, I still don't know. Um, but yeah, if you think you, is it, where, where does he sign? Uh, just, uh, yeah. just sign just, here. Just, yes, just That's that the... one there. Okay. Uh, I was desperately trying to keep my cool, but I'd done it. And with that signature, I was officially in the will of a billionaire. That's, that's wonderful. And even though I didn't quite yet know what I was receiving, I was official beneficiary of Mr. Francis. So I thought I'd better take up an interest in what he gets up to. Any fun doing today? Doing no. extreme sports, throwing yourself out of any planes? Uh, I hadn't planned to, no. Just there is a really, really great like um, skydiving school like just two miles down the road. If you saw oh, really? arrived. Wonderful, well thank you very much. Thank you, no, thank you. Um, I appreciate it, I'll wait to hear from your, your people. Absolutely. Now, essentially a father figure to me, Ben and I were like two peas in a pod, and he was a lovely man and showed me around the empire that he'd created. But I have to say, I was a little bit distracted with what I would receive. I have the goods. This has just come in the mail. It seemingly is from Mr. Ben Francis. More importantly, Mr. Ben Francis's legal team. Dear Mr. Fosh, I am writing to you on behalf of the estate of Mr. Ben Francis. We have received instruction to leave you, Mr. Maximilian Arthur Fosh, in Mr. Ben Francis' last will and testament. Yada yada yada. What do I get? There was a lot of words on that page, and not much instruction as to what I was actually getting. I've got this. Which is just a black card with a, a Gymshark logo on it. But I have no idea what this is. Upon instruction from Mr. Ben Francis, he would like to bestow upon you, Mr. Maximilian Arthur Fosh, a Gymshark gift card, only to be redeemed on the event of his untimely death. <laughs> Very good, Ben. Very good. So I've gotten in his will, but he's just given me a gift card for his company. But I can't, I'm not allowed. I can't redeem it until he dies. So I'm just gonna have a Gymshark gift card for ages. But in the terms and conditions, I found something that really added insult to injury. No. He's very much played me at my own game, as Mr. Ben Francis. In the small print for the gift card that's to be left in the will, please be aware that this gift card only has a redeemable lifespan of 12 months. Well, well done, Ben. I am in your will, but it's completely useless. But I am in a billionaire's will, and you cannot take that away from me.